Uh, again, we're back here in Bowdoin, Maine, looking for what could be the Durham Gorilla. Who knows? Oh. Well, I can show you something else, too. Uh, so this is it right here. If it was a bear, which was kind of when I was talking to him, I was trying to see what type, what th what it could have been. Yeah. Yep. We probably would have had claw marks on this tree. Yeah. Right. With some hair in it. Yeah. There's nothing. Yeah. You know, the only marks you got is from another tree where, yeah. where Dave hit yeah. and came down. And that thing had to be, I mean, like I said. Oh, yeah. I mean, it this, was. Is, this is eight feet. Right. He probably was up past that. He was. Uh, he there. was. He was a good foot over Looking that. in there. Yeah. He was in that V. He actually was hidden behind the tree. And then he was looking at me. Wow. Because when I, I listened to you the first time, I just couldn't get a, a grasp of how something that big could be hiding behind a, a you know, crook in a tree. And I think but now, yeah, you, you can. Oh, I think like, this is you. Just yeah. this yeah. Yeah. five feet. Yeah. And look how quick he could disappear. Yeah. Oh, you know? Yeah. Well, that was the thing. He, he tried Gone. to stay away from me. That's right. You know? He could be out of here in seconds. Right. Yeah, I mean, that wasn't long for you at all. No. No. He, he was out of here quick. I, mean, I was uh, like... Where was the track that you... Can you take us down to that? Over that way. Over on Matt. I bet you what... I bet you what happened. I think we missed that, that one. So and when then, you told me about this, was the tracks that you found initially right here by the tree? Um, no. Actually, we had to look, because this ground's kind of hard here. Yeah. And it wasn't leaving. Like you said, sometimes you can walk right. around, there's nothing. Yeah. But when we got over in here where there was some mud, oh my God, there was those perfect, wow. perfect, side by side. Wow. Bigfoot. Wouldn't it be cool if we like found some right now? <laughs> this trail that we walked in on used to just be as wide as a four-wheeler. He used, he would walk down here, cut a tree, and then he'd carry out the pieces. Yeah. yeah. And Dave, the guy that watching, uh, sitting at the kitchen table having coffee, right. he came in with a skitter, right. and they made, and they opened this up a little bit, right. so they selected some hardwoods. Right. So it's open a little bit more. Before, it was yeah. pretty you know thick. Right. Like, we're going to walk through here. It was just a trail yeah. through the trees. Yeah, oh, okay. See. That's a pretty good trail through here. Now. All right, so he's opened this since then. Oh, okay. Yeah, he had a road in here, pretty much. Yeah. There was a little bit of, but he's really, you know, he opened it up quite a bit. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Wow, that's awesome. I just can't believe right, how I big think, that thing must I have been. there. And it took off right the direct because here's, yeah. here's an animal trail, yeah. deer trail, okay? So that's pretty open. I mean, if we yeah. follow that, I right. bet you where you're going to take us, that the two of them are going to I bet you we follow that, come down here, there's going to be deer tracks from right yeah. here yeah. to where those yeah. footprints were. Yeah, it was. It went over on the map. Uh, I think it's a little bit further. I noticed the other night I walked outside about 12 30. Yep. I want to pull off. I was out there with my dog and I heard a weird sound. I never heard it. It was real deep, kind of similar to like a bobcat or a cat kind of, but too deep to be one, you know? Huh. And it just like, whatever it was, had kind of like a real deep voice. Wow. And I never heard it. The dog stops. He's looking around and it just freaked me out. It was like, made my hair curl up. Above that. We should put some trail cameras out here, you I know? have a few, yeah. Well, yeah, that'd be a good idea. Things are moving around again after these sources are I don't know the exact location. Is this pretty close to here? Yeah. I think it was down just a little bit. See, right. this is water here. So oh, this yep. Now, this has a muddy bottom in places. And somewhere in here is where we found this footprint. Right in the mud. Right here. Yeah, somewhere in this. Wow. This is a good place to pick up tracks, too. And you and I, the other day, when we were there, if you look and see them hemlocks, we yep. were just over there walking down that other little gut. Yeah. And that's where we heard that sound. In that area, yeah. 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 Huh. That's really close to this. Yeah. Um, I'm going to walk up this way and see for those tracks that we were that had crossed there, because that could be, if he went that way, mm -hmm. then there's a good chance that that could be your area the prints were in, or, yeah. you know. Yeah. So I'll let me take Yeah, them. definitely. Yeah, it's a ton of tracks. So there's definitely a lot of deer back here for him to eat oh, if yeah. that's what Bigfoot eats. Is that what he eats? I don't know, but yeah. if it is, there's plenty of them. Yeah. Right. You know, he don't have yeah. to move around much. Yeah. No, you but just reach coyote, out. I haven't come across a coyote track even in the snow here. Either. That's weird. I yeah. I, I haven't seen them. Things disappeared too. You know, and there's yeah. no way rabies ever, ever took them out like no, that. No. Because there was a den over here that had like 50 coyotes yeah. in it. And they're skittish, too. Yeah. They had to get, you know, when you're walking in the woods, unless there's something wrong with one, they had to see. Right, yeah. They'll take it right off. Yeah.
You only usually hear them like in the evening, just before the sun goes down. You'll start hearing them talking back and forth because they hunt in little packs, and you know they'll yipe when you hear them yiping. Right. What they're doing is the older ones are running after the animal. They're yiping to tell the other animal, the other dogs, where they're at and what direction to go in. They'll put, they'll set traps and like circle them around to get the deer to come back towards their awaiting friends. Right. Right. And hopefully they can get on them and take them down. Right.